No, here's my breakdown truck arriving. Goodness. Lake, it's getting dark, uh, and by saying I'll show you the background, you may not be able to see that. That's uh, Brown William Route, all the two highest peaks in Cornwall. It's bleak and desolate out here, it's getting cold, and it's the 4th of August. This is what happens when I try and start the bike. Ignition in. Very odd, isn't it? Things come in in random order. Press the starter button, nothing happens. Just basically kaput. I'm going to take off the side panel and have a look, see if it's that. So I'll put you on the ground whilst I do that. Battery connections are all solid. No loose wires under here. I can't see any evidence of deterioration visibly anyway. But certainly, things are not right. I can't, there's no smell of burning. So, never evidence of electrical breakdown here. But I don't think it's the fuses because everything seems to be working. So, I'm going to leave that for the time being because I could make things worse. Everything else seems to be in place as normal. Nothing obvious. I think that means we've got to wait for Mr. Breakdown truck. There we are, there's the bike. Yeah, broken down, waiting for the Breakdown Man. I don't know if you can see me at all, now it's getting very dark. Breakdown Man is on his way, 15 minutes he said. I've looked at the uh, battery connections just to make sure. Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with the fuses. And I'm taking you to Thor Motors for Thor Motors, which, which is the dealer, yeah. 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 yeah we're going to turn the truck around the other way so we can go back on the A30. So he's getting the uh, trailer out for the bike so we can put it on and get out of here. Because this place can be pretty bleak. Uh, we are nearly, a, well, we are at a thousand feet here. We'll have to give it a bit of a bump, like you know, because it is a bit, because that, that there has got a rock over, right? motorcycles and trying to turn the, the recovery vehicle around so we can get the bike to where the owner Cole is and his house because the entrance is locked so he's currently unloading the bike I'm gonna drop off a couple of things with Kim my other half and then we're gonna have to push the bike up the hill and that's gonna be bloody hard try them in put away Just like that, the trailer goes away. Well, that is the last time I'll ever 
the four motorcycles after a very bruising difficult 24 hours less than 24 hours it's nine o'clock last night and it's only quarter past three now quarter past two now i heartily do not recommend four motorcycles because of the presentation of the owner is aggressive and pleasant blaming Uh, kind of a stage in this sorry cycle of events where I'm now left without a local dealer the nearest dealer is 70 miles away I have to decide whether it's suitable to keep this bike or not much as I love it because actually I don't really feel safe on it at the moment in terms of reliability I need a reassurement of all the things that need to be done such as engine reflashes etc etc and the uh, the oil change and all that is done to give peace of mind which he doesn't really seem to care anything about Boulder dealer there he seems more concerned about uh, bad mouthing people and unfortunately I was unable to record the last bit because I feel it might have been too inflammatory if he'd become aware but um, really poor experience at least we're moving again I had to pay 138 pounds for a new battery I don't know what they really go for but um, I guess that's dealer margin but still I'm out of there I don't have to go back let's see it at a positive light but if I want any servicing now done I've got to go to Exeter so I'll need to negotiate with the uh, distributor to see whether they can put me on their list. So just a moment, feel a bit abandoned. Okay, so I'm going to stop and have a lunch break here, talk things over, and uh, do a bit of reflecting and uh, catch all the lunch. It's now half past two, still no lunch yet. Right, microphone off. We're ending this vlog here, and I'll do a supplementary vlog to advise of the outcomes. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy or Captain Clumsy from Cornish Motorcycle Diaries. Hopefully, see you in the next one.